If you think about buying into real estate, now is the time, no time to waste. Making a big financial decision in times like these with high inflation rates and high interest rates might seem like a crazy idea, but it's probably the best decision you can make in your lifetime. And I will tell you exactly why right after you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and right after you join the Money Network. There's already 1,680 of us, so let's keep growing together. In real estate investing, inflation might be the single best thing that can happen to you. If you are puzzled, please consider this. Inflation is the devaluation of your money, right? In nominal terms, you are not exactly losing money. Your 100 euros will still be 100 euros, but the buying power of that 100 euros will be a lot less. In one year's time, that 100 euros will buy you less items than they can buy you today. Something that costs 100 euros today might cost 110 euros next year. In other words, your money will be worth less in one year from now. But for real estate investors, inflation is a gift from the gods. Since the real value of the debt falls over time, the current interest rates of the mortgage give you as the buyer of real estate or land the option of making a stable value investment and taking advantage of the growing rate of depreciation of money. A key factor in the relation between inflation and mortgage is or are interest rates. If you have taken out a variable rate mortgage, you will not be able to profit from the rising inflation levels. Well, you might, but only for a shorter period of time, at least until the next time your interest rate is revised. If you take out a variable rate mortgage, you have the choice to get it revised every few years. So every time your mortgage hits a certain threshold in time, the interest rate on that mortgage is revised according to the interest rate levels at that point in time. For example, if you took out a mortgage, a variable rate mortgage at the start of this year at one and a half percent, and it's a one, one, one contract, which means that every single year the interest rate will be recalculated. If one year later the interest rates are still high, the bank can then raise your interest rate according to the rates at that moment. And since they have been going up a lot recently, the variable interest rate will be a lot higher as well. But luckily for you, the interest rate can only double at the max. In times of rising interest rates, a variable rate mortgage is unfortunate. But vice versa, when interest rates go down, the variable interest rate mortgage will become more and more affordable. It is self-explanatory that variable rate mortgages like a 333 contract or a 555 contract change their rates every three or five years. On the other hand, those who took out fixed rate mortgages benefit from the rising inflation. In this case, the interest rates are already fixed in advance and have factored in an anticipated rate of inflation. If this inflation increases to a higher extent than anticipated, the debt is devaluated. Current interest rates on real estate loans should be agreed upon with the longest possible term so that you convert the advantages of devaluation of the money into an advantage of your own. And that's why getting a loan as long as possible is the best way to go. In Belgium, the current max duration of your loan is 30 years since after that your mortgage registration expires and you have to reopen the mortgage registration with a high fee. But as of today, banks are not handing out loans for a duration longer than 25 years. But however, BMP currently is looking into offering longer mortgage loans. So we have to keep an eye out for that. So that is the devaluation of the money. But on the other hand, we also have the rise in rental prices. Rental prices follow inflation. So basically, when inflation is high, you get the best of both worlds. On the one hand, you have debt that is slowly losing value. And on the other hand, you have rental income that follows inflation. In this graph, you can see an example of mortgage of a house compared to the rental income of that same house. You can see that over these seven years, the mortgage payment remains the same. But the rental income keeps going up. The difference between the two keeps growing over time and the real estate becomes more and more interesting. So we have the devaluation of debt and then we have the rising rental income. All that is left now is to figure out what would happen in the real estate market in the next few years. 
As said in a previous video, link in the description by the way, the real estate market is a bit overpriced. But due to the current state of events, especially with the high inflation levels, we do not expect a major crash in real estate prices. Yes, there may come a drop in prices of around 10% at the max, and probably only in real estate that is less favorable. For example, real estate that needs major revisions, major renovations. Big banks expect real estate prices to grow by a few percentages during the next few years, which basically means that they lose value because inflation is higher than the real estate price growth. So in nominal value, real estate won't go down, but in real numbers it might. But then again, investing in real estate is playing the long game. And it's a game you want to start playing as soon as possible. Just like in the stock market, time is your best friend. And in real estate, inflation is your second best friend. Ride alongside with financial leverage. So if you're thinking about buying real estate, now is a very good time to do so. The benefits of inflation when buying a leveraged property will allow you to benefit from the lower value of debt with the right strategy. When you obtain a mortgage at a fixed interest rate, you reduce the real amount of the debt value, especially if you have a financing contract with a long fixed interest rate. Your money is losing value as we speak. So what are your plans with it? Let us know in the comments below and let's get a conversation started. Share your knowledge with the Money Network. We thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the support. Until next time.